I had an angry woman in my courtroom this morning. A recent survey on decision-making in households found that women call the shots 43% of the time. However, this led to the demise of this couple's relationship, and that's why they came to see me. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Rochelle Ray and Andre Ingram. The two of you have been together for six years. You have a two-year-old together. Um, Ms. Ray, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're seeking to end it here today? When I first met Andre, he was a very persuasive, strong-minded, mm -hmm. very well-spoken gentleman, and now he just lacks a backbone. Uh, I just... He's not the same man that I fell in love with and that I met. Well, what happened to him? I don't know. He just changed. He, uh... From what to what? Give me an example of the guy he was... For example, ...as opposed to the one he is today. For example, um... He doesn't stand up for me any, any longer. He tries to mediate situations uh, between me and other people, like when we were... Give me an example. We were with the fam... We were visiting with our family, mm -hmm. and we were staying at a hotel, and the young lady at the front desk she was a little bit too aggressive toward me, and I became aggressive back. Mm -hmm. And I was pregnant. And she, uh... Andre sided with her. It was some graffiti on the wall, and she asked me if I did it. I wanted to know why she felt the need to seclude me and ask if I did it, or if anyone in my party did it. And I asked her about that, and she became a little bit belligerent, and I became belligerent as well, and Andre... Uh, expressed to her that that's how I am and that's how my attitude is. That's one example is of it? him. Yes. That, is I that your attitude? I become very aggressive when someone is aggressive with me. That's human nature. No. Human uh, nature. It's, it's, it, it's bad human emotional nature. management is what it no, is. No, I don't, I don't curse and I don't get loud, I don't get belligerent, but I speak to people in the same tone of voice that they speak to me. If so she... they're dictating your, your, your... They're dictating your response. You can say that thing. How much? How often in? I'd say like in a month. Do you have aggressive conversations with people? Probably thirty times. Thirty. Probably every day. Yeah. So you you have a confrontational your, situation with somebody every day. Almost yes. Yep. Now does that seem right to you? No. And people why are do you think though. it's that way? I don't know. People try to become condescending. Uh, I was a little bit heavier then. I was about 420 pounds, and I'm not anymore. I'm about uh, 200 and some odd pounds. I'm, I'm over 200 pounds. And, and good for you. So good for you. People think that they can talk to you any type of way when you present yourself a certain way. And I feel like some people were becoming well, condescending. Well, are you still con confrontational today? Not to this day, no. I'm so, very blessed, and I'm a very positive person. I just react to people the way that they do. I don't curse, and but, I don't... But, 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 I'm, but I'm saying, in the past 30 days, how many times have you had a confrontational situation with somebody? Oh, recently, none. None Zero. whatsoever? No, this is past tense. Okay. But Andre feels the need to mediate a situation, and he'll always side with the, with the other person. And then it came out that she was wrong, and <sighs> the manager, I had to get the general manager involved because she already had it in her mindset that we did it, and he played the, the videotape, and he saw that, you that didn't that do was it. not so. Okay. Mr. So Ingram... preconceived notions. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ingram, can you, do you have another uh, version of that event, or is that fairly accurate? Yes, it is. I mean... <laughs> I don't know, because at the same time, I didn't know what was... What you didn't know like, what you didn't know what was transpiring. You yes, didn't know what was happening. Yes, over the phone and everything else. So, I didn't know what was happening. So, and this at is the how same... he always is. I have to take control of situations. He's mm -hmm. taking his time to explain a situation to you when he can just tell you what you want to know. See now, Miss Ray, you got there's your problem right there. He was trying to explain something to me, and you jumped in because he wasn't explaining I'm it. I'm trying to, to no, help no, no, you. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Now, I'm trying to explain something to, me, to you, and you are interrupting me. You don't know what I'm going to say. You act like you do, but you don't, because you're not up in here. And what I'm trying to tell you is, I see the source of your problem right here. <laughs> I, I see it. And 
to the extent that you do not let me speak, you won't see it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Okay. He can't be a leader, which is what you're looking for, a man. He can't be upfront alpha dude if you don't let him do his thing. He wasn't explaining to me fast enough for you. Your Honor, so a man took that, pictures see, of me and my child. And then you're interrupting me yes. again. You got an attitude problem over there, Ms. Ray. You got an attitude problem. I'm telling you that. I sit here all day long and talk to people. I don't have, usually don't have to yell at all. But you got a tool problem. Is that not right, Mr. Ingram? Yes, ma'am. That is right. Very bad attitude problem. Could you give me a circumstance where you felt her attitude uh, got you two into some difficulty? Back home in Mississippi, I mean, it was some problems, you know, that occurred and everything else, and it was because of her, and I seen the attitude. I mean, she was like a dog, you know, just after people, and I'm like, it's not that serious. I'm a dog you know, after people. To like, she, so he am was, I foaming at the mouth? No, 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 that's not I mean, what he, he was using angry. a metaphor. A metaphor of me being an animal. Mm-hmm. Your wow. attitude yes, was like, ooh, Ms. Ray, Ms. Ray, let me work with you for a minute here. Cause, cause you and I are not on opposing teams. You and I are on the same side. You and I both want you to be okay. Yes, ma'am. Both of us want that. But can I and tell you what he did though? Can I tell you what he did? You have to hear this. I don't have to do anything. That's number one. Number two, Ms. Ray, I'm trying to work for you here, and you gotta let me. And in order for me to work for you, you have to let me guide you in the way I need you to go. You're not contented. And you're not contented because you continue to pursue what you want in a manner that doesn't provide for contentment. And what I'm going to do today, I'm gonna be the queen of everything today, if I can get you out of here feeling good and happy. That's, that's what I'm gonna try to do. You understand that, Ms. Ray? Yeah. But you gotta work with me. I, you gotta work with me. I can't take you in the fight, but I got Joe. Understood. You understand what I'm saying? Understood. Understood. Mr. Ingram, why do you think your relationship has been unsuccessful? I don't know. It's just attitudes. On top of attitudes, and then I'm lying about everything, and because you and do. I'm like, what am I lying about? Everything. I tell He's you, lying everything. to you right now. Now, check this out. I'm about to ask you what it is you were dying to say. You know why I'm gonna ask you yes, what you were trying to say? Yes. Because you, you complied. And having complied, you get what you want. So tell me what you had to say. I was trying to say that Andre, I tried to allow him to take the leadership role, but one situation, a man took photos of me and my son that we were doing a ride share with, Mm -hmm. And the man came and knocked on our door of our residence mm -hmm. the next morning, and Andre did nothing. I'm the one that had to be the aggressor in that situation once well, what, again. What was going on? Why did he take the picture? I don't understand. Because Andre had told him that we were going to be taking a trip to Las Vegas, and we decided not to go with him when we realized his trunk was broke. And Andre decided not to go with him, and he came knocking on our door aggressively trying to figure out why we didn't want to go. He wanted money. Oh, because he came out to pick you up and you guys didn't want to go. Yes. So he wanted money uh -huh. to deal with the situation yes. for his time for coming all the way out there. Yes. Is that Even what you're telling me? Around the and Mr. Ingram wouldn't come to the door. He made you go. Yes. Mr. Ingram, no, why don't you true. tell me about that? Is that's that not true? true? That's not true Will at you all. tell me what happened? I came there to the door and this man just boom, 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 boom. And I open the door and I'm like, she just come in and I'm like, she just, and I'm like, okay, all right, you want to handle it? 
and go ahead. So did he come to the time, did he come to the door first? I ran. Yeah, Mr. Ingram, but he the didn't door. do anything. You need I mean, to deal. Like you don't take dog pictures of my son. To the door. Uh -huh. If somebody banging, boom, 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 I'm gonna run. But you don't you take know, pictures exactly of my son and walk away. That's not gonna happen. Okay, Mr. Ingram, why do you think your relationship has been unsuccessful? I don't know. It's just attitudes on top of attitudes, and then I'm lying about everything and because you and do. I'm like what am I lying about everything I tell he's you lying everything. to you right now stop no, he's concocting up a lie to tell you I'm right telling now you, as I'm speaking. telling you the truth and at the same time I just want all of that stuff there to just stop I tell you something is real I'm not finna you know tell you nothing that's fake or anything else like that of that nature you know I mean, at the time, I'm at the store. You know, she mm -hmm. sent me there to the store and everything else. And at the same time, I look for the certain item, and the item is not there. I asked the person, is it, you know, any of them? In the back and stock. In the stock. back and yeah. everything else in stock. And at the same time, he was like, well, no. So I come back, tell her, she like, I bet you, you know what I'm saying? You know, you lying and everything else like that. So I'm like, no, I'm not lying. Call him and see. And then when I call him and see, it's a lie. It's, it it's is it's on the shelf. It's on the shelf and everything else. So I'm like, wow. I mean, <laughs> well, did you how lie? that happened that fast? I mean, for real. Did you lie? No, I did not lie yes, on that. Did. I told the truth on that. I'm the one that put in the application. Did she have to put you put in an application for you in order for you to get a job at a temp agency? That was the first application I told her to. Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Don't forget to join the conversation on social media. Go to facebook.com slash divorcecourt and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at divorcecourt. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at divorcecourt. You say he lies all the time. Can you tell me what, what he lies about and why you believe he is such a persistent liar? Something wrong with him mentally. He'll lie about being on social media. He'll lie about purchasing items that'll come to our house, and he'll say that he did not purchase those items as if we have a secret stalker living somewhere just sending packages to our house. Mm -hmm. That's what he does. <laughs> he does stuff like that. When he lost his, his job, he kind of became a little less... Uh, What's the word I want to come up with? He was a lot less ambitious. Mm -hmm. And he was more content with sitting on the couch, uh, watching sports, mm -hmm. purchasing sports memorabilia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then he lies about it. I'll catch him on the phone, and I'll ask him, are you, are you looking for a job? And he'll say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm putting in an application right now. And he'll be... And I do. And I'll look I'll in his in search history. I'll look in his search history and I'll find out that he was looking up sports memorabilia or he was mm -hmm. on social media. Is he still unemployed? How long has he been unemployed? He is working, uh, doing, like, uh, temporary right now. Mm -hmm. Doing temporary part-time. But he is working. Part -time. Yeah. But because he is of working. me, I'm the one that put in an application. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did she have to put, you, put in an application for you in order for you to get a job at a temp agency? That was the first application I told her to you know, um, uh, put in and everything else. So, at the same time, I did lie about the school thing mm -hmm. and everything else. And at the same time, I have a son. Mm -hmm. I have to take care of my son. He cannot eat no degree or anything else like that. And at the same time, I worry about working, making money, bringing it in. So, I have to do he, what I have to do. Oh, he can't eat your degree. Let me tell you. I feed, I feed, I'm feeding a few people off mine. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? It may yes, not be quickly, it may, it may not be right to the plate. It's not a microwavable meal, but it's a full one. Yes. And uh, education will do that for you. But he uh, doesn't so think So why that don't way. you tell me about the lie and the $400? Well, this gentleman right here told me that he had enrolled in classes uh, at college and that he was taking 12 college uh, credits. credits. He uh -huh. had 12 credits. He made up the classes he was in. He came back. He went out and uh, bought test textbooks. I gave him the money to buy textbooks. That's he the $400 you're suing him for, yes, correct? Yes, and he went and got a backpack, too. He is so delusional. <laughs> Like, seriously. Mr. Ingram, did you have a whole construct in your head about how you were going to school and how many credits and a backpack? Yes, I did. Did all that happen? Yes, I For did. For what purpose but... did you construct that less than real world? I mean, at the same time, I was out looking for a job and everything else, and... What, a backpack we and need school money. books? You know, we got bills. We need money and everything else, and... At the same time, I told her about it, and, you know, she just flipped out on me. I, th I, mean, I think I, I, got, I, I, think I know what I, I think I know what's happening. I think I know what's happening. Court's in session. Do you come in, take off your clothes, and then say, uh-uh? I do, Your Honor. If you want to touch something, go touch some dishes in there, okay? They got some grease. He's keeping you from getting any action, huh? I thought maybe if I get a girl dog for a guy dog, I could get my girl back and my bed back. Visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. I'm going to let you know something that right now, Ms. Ray. I'm going to give you this $400 because he lied to you about it. He, he took it under false pretenses. What he did with it, I do not know. But, uh, so I'm going to give you that $400. Now, let me tell you something. He lies, he lies to you because he's scared of you. <laughs> Seriously. No, I'm serious. I'm the sweetest person. No, 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 Ms. Ray, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. And I think you're angry because you don't know your own value and worth. And I think you're fighting in a world that you think perceives you as less than because you had all that weight and you weren't the, you know, the, the establishment's definition of pretty. Women of color worry about it all the time. We worry about the color of our skin and the texture of our hair. Then we, we live in an in a, in a image obsessed society where a size six is cool, size eight maybe, at 10 and up, you're not, so, you, you, you're not good anymore. And you, you've been faced with a world that keeps slapping with you. I, you're not good enough. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. So you become angry in response. And anything that anyone says to you that could possibly be taken negatively, that's the way you take it because you're playing defense all the time. And what I want to say to you is you were bad chick because you lost that, what, 120 pounds? I don't know what it was. Extraordinary thing that you did. And I want you to believe in your beauty because you will be happier. I believe in your value and your worth. I want you to believe in your value and worth. And then the world becomes a less hostile place. And you have the right to have the peace and joy that accompanies not being angry all of the time and not seeing the need to fight all the time. And, and, and then the people around you will become softer and more able and more, um, more accommodating and, 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 and caring towards you because you, 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 uh, bring that towards you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. So stop fighting that fight. I'm going to give you this $400. If I were you, I would take it and get some help. Just say, what I mean? Go see somebody. I got psychiatrists on speed. I talk to them all the time. You know, I want to be the first one to know where my fears are, where my weaknesses are, what's wrong with me, what I'm not able to do, because I want to be peaceful and happy and content within myself. And I can't do that fighting with nobody. I can yes, only do it fighting the worst of me. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. $400 in favor of Ms. Ray. It is so good. <laughs> Rachelle was angry with everyone else because she wasn't comfortable in her own skin. Whatever you do, you have to decide that you define you and not everybody else. 
call us at 877-311-2222.